Yes, I agree with you with all that. The only only thing I will say to that point is this. As far as mansion and cinema, that, that whole thing goes. If you pass infrastructure and you pass voting rights and you pass the things that the country wants, the country, not just, not just the left, the country wants, right? That gives you the space for the, everybody who voted for you to come back and be like, they follow through. I can tell you right now, John, you might not feel it because of what your position is, but there is people who are looking at Joe and Kamala saying, we did all that and nothing is happening. I do try to correct them and say this, 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 child tax credit, stimulus, infrastructure. Well, I, I try my best because I think that we have accomplished so much and it hasn't even been a year. It's not even close to being a year, right? I do feel like they've accomplished so much. But because it doesn't, it might not feel it as much as um, they were. Pr- the stakes that the Democrats painted, although they were accurate, it doesn't feel like it's the same stakes now, right? I don't know if that makes sense. I guess what I'm saying is it doesn't feel like we kept taking big home run swings and maybe we're on second base or maybe we're on third and we're waiting for somebody to bring us home. So I guess what I'm saying is. You, you, you have a, a big group of the Democrats who will still show up and vote in 2022 and 2024 who might feel like, look, you have the majority. You might not have the super majority, but you have a majority and we want it more done. I, I don't think that you will lose those voters. Let me be clear. I don't think that those voters will not show up. But what I do think is that it gives you more freedom to be like, look at all the stuff we did. If you just keep voting for us, we're going to keep doing it. So... As far as mansion and cinema, my point is, I understand your point fully, but my point is, if you pass more things, then you will have more voters and you won't necessarily have to worry about mansion seat because you'll have other seats, which is this, which is the point you were made anyways, basically. Well, what I want us to do, and just, you know, uh, what, I'm going to give you, it's going to be a weird sports analogy, uh, but you know, <laughs> one, of the, one of the things I hate more than, one of the teams I hate more than anything is the University of Notre Dame. Notre Dame football is the bane of my existence. I have two favorite teams in college football, the University of Alabama and whoever's playing Notre Dame. And the first week uh, against Florida State, Notre Dame squeaked out a winner against um, Florida State. And they interviewed they interviewed Brian Kelly after the game, and he literally said he wanted to execute the team. And <laughs> a win's a win. And I love the fact that he was so miserable that he wanted to execute his team. But in politics, I want us to be less Brian Kelly and more Republican. And what I mean by that is we know that we may be left wanting with whatever we get in infrastructure, whatever we get on voting rights. But damn it, we need to get whatever we get and spike the ball. We need to have we need to all be in the end zone doing the pose. Right, we, 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 we literally need to celebrate it because what Democrats do and what our base does and what the, you know the people who vote Democrats are Democrats but tell you, you know, I'm not really Democrat, those yeah. assholes. What we need to do is we need to go ahead and tell people, you see what we got, we want more, but damn it, let's celebrate it. But you know what's going to happen is a lot of these activists are going to say, well, we don't know why we should vote for Democrats. We don't know why this. You know, what are we doing? And I heard what you're saying about some of the people, and I'm not talking about the rank-and-file voter. The rank-and-file voter, if they're told this is a big deal, it's going to be a big deal. That's why Republicans win, right? So I don't know if it's our pundits, the intellectuals, but we need to take whatever victories we get, whatever victories we get with infrastructure, with voting rights, and even if they're not enough, the only way we're going to get more is if Democrats are reelected, and we can't sit there and act like, oh, oh, they didn't do enough. We don't. We're not sure we're going to show up. You know what? If you don't show up, you're going to be really, res- you're going to be really upset about the folks who come in and replace the Democrats. Because something I used to tell my students all the time, uh, especially those students who supported Hillary, I mean supported Bernie. 
And they would sort of, you know, say, well, you know, Hillary didn't earn my vote. And, you know, I, I punished Hillary, so to speak. You know, you're not going to be punishing Hillary. You're not going to be punishing uh, Nancy Pelosi. You're not going to be punishing uh, Joe Biden or Kamala Harris if you don't show up for the Democrats. You're going to be publishing that single mother who's reliant on the child tax credit that will go away if the Republicans are, uh, are in charge. You're going, to re- you're going to be punishing the environment. You're going to be punishing every everything that you proclaim to care about. Because when the, the Democrats that stayed home and said, you know what, Hillary didn't impress me enough. You know who they punished? Hillary is living in Westchester, living her best life, drinking her whiskey. She's a rich white woman. The worst her days could be are good. Even her worst day is good, right? The people who got punished are the women in Texas who can't get abortions now because we didn't hold on to the Supreme Court. That's who you punish. The, you know, the, the, the immigrants that you proclaim to care about, the ones who have to, deal with the drinking, have to deal with the draconian policies of the Trump administration. So I am just, I understand what people are saying, the Democrats are not doing enough, but you're not punishing the Democrats. Just so you know, every member of Congress that doesn't get reelected will become a lobbyist and make $800,000 a year if they're not reelected. So the reality is you guys can go ahead and punish Democrats all you want, but you're not going to be punishing them. You're going to be punishing the single mother who's relying on the child tax credit. And I, I just I just get frustrated. Now, of course, you can't say that in a message and an ad, but that's kind of the energy I have right now. Oh.